All right, welcome to Smokey's Grind Files. I'm your boy, Journalist. And on this one, we are here to check out uh, the Ayanapa story. This one is going to be Frisco, Skepta, and Trim. Uh, somebody told me that I need to check this out in the comment section. Shout out to you. Uh, I always like to hear the Ayanapa story. Uh, is this the time where they're going to do something with, like, for the D or something on stage? Not this particular instance of what we're listening to, but, like, that's the same, like, same trip? Or did they go to Ayanapa a bunch of times and just wore bare niggas on stage over there or is that what i and Apple used to have happen but uh yeah those are just questions i have uh thank you very much for joining me if you could please hit that like subscribe patreon and all that and let's get into this did it did it did it yo yo big freak big 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 freak and everyone keeps on asking me what happened in napa bro man oh, i heard you man were in drums over there what happened i was hearing all sorts bro i heard it weren't looking good Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna lay it down now, innit? And let you know what really happened. Yeah, it weren't good, man. It weren't good, man. Trust me. If you ever go abroad, just know yourself. Everybody keeps asking what happened in Napa. So I'ma break down what happened in Napa. I'ma draw the picture, but not with a pencil. It was me, Skep, Jabo, and Denzel, Jamie, and Maximum. We was in Club Ice and the vibes were nice. We had bags of them bottles. Of this shit has no good, like... No... No... Why is it so good? It's just... Ah, uh, it's... I'm gonna tell you what happened in Napa. It's, oh, it's perfect. His pocket on his coat. What happened in Napa? So, and trust me, if you ever go abroad, you know yourself. Everybody keeps asking what happened in Napa. So, I'm gonna break down what happened in Napa. I'm gonna draw the picture, but not with a pencil. It was me, Skep, Jabo, and Denzel, Jamie, and Maximum. We was in Club Ice, and the vibes were nice. We had bags of them, bottles of Zambuca and Henny. Came through, smacked up the dance on the levy. Now I'm outside back, cause I can't find Skeppy. I'm on pricks on his quad. Riding up and down in front of Gal, showing off. Going on big like his name was Boss. Nearly hit my bike, so I told him to mine out. That's when I got to find out. This guy must be mad, and he thinks that he's bad. He started to get hype and wild out. Hey, Skepta, man. I swear if this goes trying to move to that day, man. But I let that Farley do. I fuck, he's an idiot. Hey, come and stamp him out, man. Fuck the long thing, man. Nah, man, he's an idiot. Don't watch the hate. This beat has no fucking reason being this good either. Fucking who made this beat? Dun, 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 dun. And then the fucking snare that... Tsh, 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 tsh. Like the fucking... Hey, this shit is... This is a good beat. Fuck. You're fighting it, bro. It's got a little chat, so I'll, I'll take that blood. So I parked up the pet, analyze the situation and get things clear in my head. I don't want to see nobody's bloodshed, but my man deserves a thump in his head. So I'm like, Rude Boy, look, hear what I'm saying. I ain't here for the war, but mind what you're saying. Then he said, Rude Boy, I don't care what you're saying. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. I'm staying. So you're a bad boy, all right then. But I don't care where you're from. I don't care where you're on, where I come from. I'll thump up, man, and I'm gone. Told him to suck out his mum no long. Then from behind, he tried to take a cheap shot. Blow. I reacted with a big shot. Now it's so long because your nose is broken. Soaked in blood with your face all open. You see? Fuck That's what happens, blood. Suck your mom. Hey, blood, come and get out of here. Hey, get, get off him now. Get off him. Come. Shots. I'm, I'm taking shots. I swear, blood, come and get out of here, bro. Let's breathe, man. Fuck that. I, I, don't know know slaps. Man. I don't know what made me take these traps Next time I'll drink a soft drink instead Put the Hennessy and Zambuca go straight to my head I went jail, thought I was dead Cockroaches walking on my bed I was paying for a parked off bed Boy better know I'm lucky to get bail I was looking at a free year sentence in jail 24 hour banger, never got mail I was munching tuna, cucumber and tomato Min a rap, min a cater like Desperado Big up Saskilla and Boyer Old type Frisco's lawyer We can't go jail, we're the kings of grand That's how it's gonna be for a very long time Cause we go to the rave, get a rewind And the second line never sounded like the first line NASA. Trust me. And this is a good story. And Skepta comes through with just a little bit of storytelling and switches like the last little bit of his shit into some like some good rhyme and shit. This is a vibe so far. I like this. But it sounds like it's almost over. But there's like two more minutes left. Nice young car. Man get shipped the next day, you get me? And now man's in jail like on robbery and GPH charges. It's mad, like. One minute, man's riding up and down on peds, living it large. Now I'm in jail, bro. And you know what the worst thing is? Guess who I back up in there, bro? Ah, oh, it's mad. Like, chill, man. What happened, man? Lord, let me tell you the low down again. See, flow down in them. I'm on a different program to them. So when Marcus is shouting, roll these more pegs. Javan! Your dad's the milkman! Fuck! Rest in peace to my nigga Storm it. Damn it. He he got that nigga so good. I can't ever hear Trim without fucking just thinking of that nigga. Fuck, man. That's so good. That's so good. But it's nigga Trim. Bring it back to this one. Fuck, that nigga flow. 
the way he, the pocket, he's like, so skippy. Let me tell you the lowdown. Let me tell you the lowdown. Let me tell you the lowdown. Lord, let me tell you the low down again. See flow down in them. I'm on a different program for them. So when Marcus is shining, roll these more pang. I'm on a thing where I'm shining. Suck your mom times ten. Yeah, suck your mom times ten. If girls love nasty, they have to love Trim and Johnny Skeng. But anyway, we're in Iron Africa, Greece, and Marcus's baby mom's from the ends. Their crew's dead out. We're not friends. We ain't even landed yet. And AB's already put Marcus to the headlock. He tried to pop his eye out of his head. And I'm hearing Frisk, j and Skepta in pen. Rico lost some peas at the airport, so he ain't on this thing again. And then there was six, plus Rico's friend. And I say Rico's friend, because if Kerry was on the back of Rico's pen, instead of scratchies, he might not have looked into thin air when it was time to back him. Now I got man at my door chatting shit, like scratchies been stabbed and we don't know where he is. So I'm like, Nitch, let's try and find scratch and it's marvelous brick. But when we landed outside, guess who I see? Who? <laughs> His missus, with Target and Danny Wee, before I could speak, I'm hearing, we're trying to sort it, keep him away from me, I'm like, where's Scratchy D, actually, don't even answer, listen, bare things are going on right now, it's, it's still last night as well, everyone's drunk, it's a hype, everyone's outside the hotel, it's a bag of noise, it's an audience, I just got caught up in it, quickly, she was in my face for ages, I couldn't hold back no longer. But yeah, man. They got me shift. Marcus and his missus, they got me arrested. My passport got took off of me because of them. Fucking cunt. I'll catch you. Watch. Pussy. I'll catch you. <laughs> that nigga sound like an evil villain. I'll catch you. Fucking cunt. I'll catch you. Watch. Pussy, spark something. But yeah, man, I'm in Iron Apple now. I said once going home. Ten weeks down the line, I'm still trying to get my passport back. Charges were up. punched girl in the face. That's what I could understand more time. You hit girl. She's from the ends. She speaks Greek. So I got shift. Me and Frisk. Oh fam, long thing. Trust me, it's long fam. Aye, this ain't the place to be, man, trust me. When you go on holiday, you need to know yourself though, trust me, you do. You get me, like, the liquor will go to your head and make you do some stuff, but... Good, that nigga is not wrong, because I know he already said it, but it's facts. Like, I was going to slap a bear man in fucking Berlin. Them niggas is rude sometimes, because, like, niggas just move very weird. It's either real good energy or niggas move like the bookiest niggas I've ever been around. I'm like, what is this? What is this shit? It's fucking weird. Like, oh my god, and just the disrespect. It's just like ah, but man, don't want to go to jail in Berlin though. Like, I'm not trying to see that. I'm definitely not. But oh, fuck, you gotta you gotta really reel yourself in when you're like fucking low key on holiday and man's just fucking just chatting bare shit to you. It's just like oh my god, bro. Like, you're lucky I don't live here, cuz. You get me, just hold it down, man, like you will end up in the bin. You get me? So now, man go caught. You get me? Man catch a squeeze. Man get a fine. You get me? Man's out of there now, bro. My man don't want to go through that again, fam, so you have to learn the lessons, you get me? We got Skepta, we got J-Wall, we got Trim. You get me? Yeah, man. 2006. Iron Upper Styly. All right. That was pretty good, though. That was pretty good. I liked the story. I liked how they all kind of, like, tell the story in their own different ways. Nobody's, like, really copying anybody like that. And what I mean by this, like, everybody's got very distinct individual flows, and everybody's flow is so skippy. It's really dope. The beat, just, like, it just pulls you along. The whole, that, dun, 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 dun. Like, that shit just sound good. Like, I liked everything about this shit. Shout out to these niggas. Yeah, don't war niggas when you on vacation, my nigga. Like, honestly, it's just, it's really not worth it, blood. Especially if you're in a country that, like, you don't speak the language. It's fucking, it's even worse. It's even worse. So, yeah, lesson learned from this one for sure. I'm glad I, I didn't have to learn the lesson these niggas learned. It's a good record, but uh, 
Yeah, oh, yeah, final question. This Marcus is, what's it called? This is the same Mar- Marcus that, what's it called? Is caught up in the Dizzy Rascal Iron Apple situation as well. This, this Is this the same fucking day? Because if so, that nigga Marcus was just on demon time that day. Like, Jesus. You just warn everybody. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me on this one. Thank you for, very much for joining me. Uh, if you could, please hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.